Hi there, Thunkers, and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to build on our translation app and create an app that lets the user choose which languages they are translating text to and from. We're going to do this using a local data source. Let's get started. In our speech docs, you can find a link to the Yandex document that shows all of the languages available for the translator component. We're going to use this list in our project but first, I'm going to tidy it up a bit. I'm going to copy this table to a Google Sheet. I'm going to arrange it as one list of languages and one list of language codes. And then I'm going to sort the sheet alphabetically by language. This will make the list easier to navigate in our project. Back in my Thunkable project, I'm going to create a local data source. Let's call this data source language codes. I'll name one column language and one column code and paste in the data that we formatted in our Google Sheet. Back in the Design tab, I have moved our previous text input button and label out of the way. I'll add in a button, which will just say English, and a label, which will say two. And I'll add in another button, which will say Spanish. As you can see, this now says English to Spanish. So we're showing the user what language we're translating from and what language we're translating to. Next, we're going to add in a list viewer. It's going to take up the whole screen. We'll name it language list and we'll set it to invisible for now. Then we'll add another list viewer and do the same thing. We'll call this one target language list. We'll make sure that both of these list viewers have an opaque white background. We'll also name our buttons source language and target language to indicate that one shows the language that we're translating from and one shows the language we're translating to. In the language blocks, we'll start by saying that when the screen opens, we're setting the text items of both of our list viewers to the contents of the language column of our language codes data source. When we click on our source language button, we're going to show our list viewer language list. Let's take this time to initialize two variables. We'll call them source and target. When an item in the language list viewer is clicked, we will set our language source to the value from the codes column for the row whose index is the index from the list viewer that was just selected. We'll set the source languages button's text to the item that was selected so that the user knows what has currently been selected, and then we'll hide the list viewer again. We can simply copy and place these blocks to the target language button. When we click target language button, we will set the target language list viewer to be visible. And when we click an item from this list, we will set our app variable target to the item from the code column with this index. Then we'll set the target language button's text to the item that was selected and we'll hide the target language list viewer. So now when the translate button is clicked, let's say that we're translating from app variable source to our variable target and that we want the result to be read out in our target language. And since our default setting is English to Spanish, we'll initialize source to English code EN and target to Spanish code ES. Now let's test it out. I'll pick a source language and I'm going to select Irish here. And I'll pick a target language. Let's go with Chinese. And if I type in Diaguit, which is the Irish for hello, I will get Nihao. Perfect. Now we have a translator app that lets the user select their source language and target language. There will be a link to this app and to the relevant docs in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and as ever, thanks for thunking.